What's going on guys, Riley here. Today we are going to be comparing the 6th Gen Camaro 1SS, 2SS, and 1LE. This has been a video that's been requested many times here on the channel, and I hope this video helps you guys out if you're in the market for a 6th Gen Camaro, or just want to learn more about them. Starting off on the left, we have a 1SS Camaro, which is basically the cheapest SS Camaro that you can buy. Here in the middle, we have a 2SS Camaro, which is the most expensive SS Camaro you can buy. And over here on the right, there's a 1SS 1LE Camaro, which is my personal car. And this is kind of like that happy medium with price, although it's kind of different from the other two, which we'll get into here in a minute. So all of the cars featured today have a couple minor modifications, so they're not exactly all in bone stock form. However, looking at the 1SS and 2SS next to each other, there's really no differences from the exterior. The 2SS is basically all interior options. Looking at the 1LE compared to the other two, you can tell there's a little bit of differences as far as the exterior goes, but honestly, all three cars are really similar. Now before I show off some subtle differences, I'll go ahead and show off what the main differences are between the cars. So starting off here with the 1SS, you have the quote unquote base interior, which is still really nice. You still get the leather steering wheel, leather shift knob. The 1SS still includes that center screen there as well as digital gauges. I guess really the only difference that really sticks out is the fact that this one has cloth seats. Now moving on to the 2SS, you'll notice it's a little bit more luxurious in here, starting off with the leather seats with the SS embroidery in the back. Also you're greeted with a nice Camaro illuminated door sill which lights up at night and as far as the door goes, you'll notice there's also more illuminated features here, a suede little knee rest and the Bose sound system. The steering wheel in the 1SS and the 2SS are both exactly the same. Both are leather wrapped flat bottom steering wheels and this is the only automatic of the bunch although you can equip both cars with manuals or automatics. One nice thing about the 2SS Camaro is that it's the only way to get blind spot monitoring systems in your Camaro. So that's one little add-on that's quite nice. But the rest, you know, relatively similar. Is the 2SS worth it compared to the 1SS? Well that's up to you. And the last interior that we'll go over is the 1SS 1LE interior, which basically starting off kind of looks the exact same as a 1SS, the same exact door panel pretty much. But moving in, you'll notice you're greeted to a suede and Alcantara steering wheel shift knob and these super nice Recaro seats. The 1LE is kind of like a mix between the 1SS and the 2SS. It has some quote unquote luxurious features, but it also is relatively base. So now that you guys have seen the major differences, which is almost all interior, let's go ahead and talk about some of the smaller differences on the exterior. One random little feature is that the 1SS and the 2SS both come with that little chrome piece underneath the fog light, and if we move over to the 1LE, it's already blacked out. Now the owner of the 2SS went ahead and blacked his out aftermarket, but it's still one of those weird little things about, you know, why aren't they all black? The 1LE is also the only SS Camaro to come factory with a front splitter, although the 2SS has one aftermarket, which looks right at home. The 1SS owner has yet to put one on, but as you can see, it looks a little bit higher up in the front without one. The 1LE also features six piston Brembo brake calipers, which are red, and moving on to the 1SS and the 2SS, they both have four piston Brembo calipers that are black. The 1LE features a different spoiler than the 1SS and the 2SS and also features a satin black rear valence instead of a gloss black rear valence like on the 1SS and 2SS. Now even though the 1LE will set much faster lap times around a track compared to the other two, it is actually the slowest one here due to extra aero and rolling resistance with wider wheels and tires. Now as far as these two, which one's faster between automatic and manual, the automatic is slightly faster. Although with a good manual driver, it'll be pretty tough to tell a real difference. It kind of just depends on drivers. Internally, all the cars make the exact same horsepower from the factory, although the 1LE does have magnetic ride control suspension and actually basically shares almost everything with a ZL1 aside from the supercharger. The 1LE is also the only SS Camaro you can get the performance data recorder in. It's usually only an option available on Corvettes and ZL1s. One other feature that I forgot to mention earlier is that the 1LE and the 2SS both come with the heads up display, which is that little thing you see right there, which basically tells you your speed and RPM and Gs and all that fun stuff. The 1SS does not have that and you cannot get that on a 1SS. 
So really, if you're in the market to buy one of these three cars, you have to ask yourself, what are you going to be using it for? If you're gonna be tracking the car and doing race car things, get a 1LE. If you're gonna be daily driving it, then go with a 1SS or a 2SS. If you care to have the extra interior options, obviously the 2SS is the right one for you. If all you want is a 6th gen Camaro and don't really care about the extra interior features, the 1SS is obviously the right one for you and you will definitely enjoy all three of these cars. They are all great in their own individual ways. If you're interested in following the 1SS or the 2SS Camaro owners on Instagram, I'll put both of their Instagram accounts on the screen now. Please enjoy the rest of this video featuring the sounds of freedom, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys. So now for a little owner's review, Zach, what is it like living with a 1SS on a daily basis? It's a lot of fun. You actually um, are way more comfortable than most people would presume. So I would suggest it, nine out of 10. All right, Brent, what's it like living with a 2SS on a daily basis? Well, considering the fact my scat pack didn't have any of the options that this one has on the inside, it's a completely different life inside a car, I guess you could say. And now that I'm actually able to do some performance stuff to this it's more fun than I could ever imagine hopefully it comes more soon what the